Hey y'all, it's Nick from Undefeated Productions, and welcome back to another video. In this one, we are discussing the move. The Mets just made a move. The Mets, they have an agree. They have a GM now. They're in agreement with uh, former Angels GM Billy Epler, and mixed emotions. Mixed emotions for everything. I feel like that's a great way to put it. Everyone on the Mets Twitter, they're going crazy because this move comes with its ups comes with its downs as along with every move before we get started as always hit that like button and subscribe comment down below what y'all think about this move you know is it good is it bad for the mets you know what does this do does this change anything all right so the mets they they're finalizing a deal with former angels gm billy epler in anaheim he had a 332 uh win 376 loss record as the Angels GM, he loved dishing out lots and lots of money, which is a good thing. He gave terrible, terrible contracts to people like Zach Cozart, uh, you know, Matt Harvey, uh, Matt Harvey, Julio Tehran, Trevor Cahill, Justin Bohr, Cody Allen, uh, numerous other, you know, not so good players. I mean, you think about the Angels teams the last couple of years; they've been pretty horrendous. They always have a lack of pitching. That was something else. He never spent money on pitching, and instead of going out and trying to get a Garrett Cole, he goes out and gets Anthony Rendon, who cannot stay on the field recently. And you know, that's he has experience getting big, big names. You know, he likes spending money. He had that uh, big uh, extension to. Justin Upton, Upton, and he's getting paid a lot of money, and he's mediocre. And there's also a bunch of other smaller moves that he made. You know, in some of the trades he made, you know, he did not net much of a return. And, you know, that's the concerning part. You look at the Angels, you look at their record, he was not able to fix it. The things he was able to do in Anaheim, he managed to get Shohei Otani. That was a huge one. Um, I mean, we look at Shohei, Shohei, you know, Shohei was choosing between all of these teams. He was able to build a, a, just a plan that was able to just convince Shohei to come to Anaheim and look what Shohei is doing. You know, that's another great uh, move by, that's one of the great things that he did. Another one was extending Mike Trout. That's another big one, the best baseball player of, of this generation for a while, probably. He's able to extend him, keep him in LA. Those are his two big positives when he was Angels GM. Now, we're looking at this as a Mets, you know, as, as the Mets and their future. First off, he's able to take over day one. So that means tomorrow, if he puts that contract that down, we, we can officially begin the offseason. We start looking for a manager. I'll mention that in a minute. We can start. We will. You'll probably see a lot more Mets news. Of course, Sandy Alderson, he's been working on that right now. And they've been looking for someone that can take over day one. You know, if they hired someone like an assistant GM, you know, a bunch of a bunch of these other names, they'd probably have to get babied up. You know, holding their hands to, through the process, you know, to allow them to do this. Um, Billy Epler, he has the experience. He's able to take over day one, and I think that is a huge factor in this. You know, being able to easily take over and help the Mets is something that was definitely, definitely needed. Something else, he is analytically driven, and that is something under Steve Cohen that they've made an absolute priority. They've been, they've made sure to upgrade that analytical department, and they have extremely done that. Getting Epler, he's analytically driven, so this will help, of course, improve the Mets. They want to copy that Dodgers, and you know that is something that analytics, they play a huge, huge role in this, and Getting an analytically driven GM is perfect. I'll save the biggest, you know, fish to fry for last. And then I said managerial. Brad Osmus, he he has relations and past experiences, including LA. So immediately, Brad Osmus is good friends with Hepler. He is now the managerial favorite for the Mets. Of course, that doesn't really just that doesn't sound amazing to me. You know, Brad Osmus. Eh, I mean, I guess you know he's better than some people. You know, I, I would still prefer Luis Rojas, but we'll see what happens with him. Of course, none of these guys were able to make the playoffs. And finally, the biggest thing, which I think for the Mets is, or yeah, the Mets. I'm thinking, I'm watching the Niners game. I'm thinking Niners saying Mets. Anyways, the biggest thing for the Mets is that David Stearns is bad, like really, really good friends with Billy Epler. And we talk about the Mets. They want David Stearns. I think the end goal is getting David Stearns running president of baseball operations. His contract expires at the end of next this coming year. So in 2022 or 2023, he will be available. And with that connection, the Mets can obviously look forward and be like, all right, you know, this spot is for him. That's who they ultimately want running this 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 merry-go-round. They, they want the roller coaster. They want David Stearns at the top. And getting Billy Epler, it's like a step like, hey, you know, y'all are good friends. Let's work together. 
and I think that is going to benefit their the Mets president of baseball operations hunt a lot. Anyways, that's the rundown. Billy Uplor, the Mets' new GM. We got a GM. My personal grading C. I mean, this is like, really? You're getting a guy who did not do much in Anaheim. He had his, his bright spots. He had his down spots. And I think the biggest thing here is his connection to David Stearns. I think that ultimately, with coming to the decision, that's what led them there. And the experience. But we have a GM. We should get rumors and stuff. Mets roster construction, that can now officially happen. Let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Hit that like button, subscribe. Come back, Eduardo Rodriguez video probably coming out soon. I'll see y'all in the next one. Thanks for watching.